Today I will be making copper carbonate. For this you need a solution of copper acetate, which I made in a previous video, and some sodium hydrogen carbonate, which is baking soda. First, get your copper acetate solution. and add your sodium hydrogen carbonate. This reaction will produce bubbles of carbon dioxide, as you can see. I'm gonna add some more sodium hydrogen carbonate here. Keep adding sodium hydrogen carbonate until no more carbon dioxide is produced. Now I'm going to stir it. Just gonna add a little more. Don't add too much, or your product may result in copper carbonate and sodium hydrogen carbonate instead of just copper carbonate. Let's stir a little more here. Once it stops producing carbon dioxide, you're gonna need a cup and a filter because you're gonna filter the copper carbonate out. So I'm going to go get my cup and my filter, and I'll be back in a sec. So there's my cup with my filter on it, and now I'm going to filter my mixture, and the copper carbonate is going to filter out, and the solution is going to go into the cup. So I'm going to skip over the part where it filters. It probably takes about 20-15 minutes for it to dry. So there it is after it has filtered. It hasn't really been 15 to 20 minutes. It's only been about 10, so you should wait longer than I have because it's more of a mush. So I'm getting the tape off because I had a filter on the cup with the tape, and the tape was there to hold on the filter so it didn't fall. And there's my slush of copper carbonate. I'm just gonna put it on my metal tray. So it's on my metal tray. The slush. Now, you can either leave this out in the open and let the mush dry, or you can heat it, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to heat it with my alcohol burner. I'm getting my lighter right now. Okay, so uh oh, it fell. Get that up. So there's my lighter. I'm gonna heat this, and water vapor is gonna be produced because the water is boiling off. There might be a funny smell if you heat it because there might be some vinegar left over from the reaction with the uh, copper to make copper acetate where you make the copper acetate itself for this experiment so it might have a funny smell when you heat it. Maybe I should have done this outside, it's pretty stinky.
I'm just letting it cool down a little. I'm going to heat it up again because it's making a stinky gas and I don't want to make a lot at once. I think this gas is from the bottom of the metal plate because there were two, no, actually three sticky styrofoam pads to hold it up, but then I removed those by heating it. I think there might be some styrofoam left. If it's from the chemicals, can you please tell me what the smell might be? I'm concerned about if it's toxic or not. So there's my metal play with my copper carbonate slush and it's getting harder now that the water is boiling off. Okay, so I blew out my alcohol burner. And there's my spoon. I'm gonna try scooping my copper carbonate. It's not exactly a powder, but it's more of a powder than a mush now. Now I'm going to store it, and I'm going to show you what it looks like after you store it. So, if you keep it in a bag for a couple days to let it dry out, it should look like this. This is not how much I made. I've probably done this experiment two to three times. So that's from the other two or one experiments. Thanks for watching.